The following program is intended to help bolster the self-esteem of guys who've had a difficult time getting on with their lives after the breakup of a long-term relationship. The men on this show have offered to share their stories with you today in this caring and safe environment. <laughs> Welcome to Losers, the only game show where losers win. Now, here's your host. Cliff Clifford! Hi, everybody, and welcome to Losers, the only game show where losers win. Let's get things underway and meet today's losers. We've got a uh, sports bar idiot, a boring nice guy, and a scary stalker guy. <laughs> so, sorry, those were my producer's notes. Uh, let's once again welcome our contestants, uh, Bob. <laughs> Hi, Bob. Uh, nice to have you here on uh, Loser. Uh, Stan, uh, nice to have you here. And uh, Trent. Nice, nice to have you here, Trent. Okay, okay. Now, you all uh, recently ended a long-term relationship, and we're going to ask you questions about it, and we're going to give you the chance to earn loser points. And the thing is, you get more points for the farther your story strays from reality, all right? Now, question one. What is your ex-girlfriend doing now, Bob? I don't know, probably not much of anything, I guess. You know, one of my friends from the softball team saw her last week, and she wasn't looking too good, so. And she's probably waitressing somewhere. She's probably moved back in with her parents. <laughs> Actually, Bob, she's dropped 20 pounds. She's just been named marketing director for Microsoft. And guess what? She's the new jockey underwear billboard woman. <laughs> you get 10 big loser points. Thanks, Cliff. Okay, sure. All right, now, Stan, what's your ex doing now? I think she's just kind of traveling around, you know, she was pretty heartbroken when I broke up with her. Well, uh, yes, Dan, she is traveling, as a matter of fact, with her new boyfriend, the bass player from Soundgarden. <laughs> I think we have a, uh, yes, we have a postcard from her here from Barbados. It says that she has uh, finally opened up sexually and uh, her life has been transformed into a, into a wonderful adventure. Thanks, Cliff. Sure, buddy. That's, that's good for 10 big points for you there, Cliff. All right, now, Trent. Trent. Uh, hey, buddy. Uh, what's, uh, what, is, what is your ex doing now, Trent? Uh, right about now, she probably walked down the front steps of her building to the bus stop. The bus ride's going to take 47 minutes. She's going to sit in the third row. Uh, that's, that's right, Trent. Uh, you know, but you know what, buddy? That's a, that's a little too close. You're scaring me, man. I'm giving you double points. All right. <laughs> Question number two. Question number two is, how are you doing since the breakup? Bob? I, I'm doing great. I'm, I'm playing on a softball team, hanging out with friends at some of the local night spots. I'm checking out the babes. They're checking me out. I'm doing great. <laughs> okay, Bob. I now present a tape from your ex-girlfriend's answering machine. Let's listen. <laughs> That's great, Bob. That's worth 10 more points for you, Bob. Now, Stan, Stan, how are you doing these days, Stan? I was a little upset at first, but you know what? I am getting on with my life. Okay, Stan, I present you a videotape from the security camera at your ex-girlfriend's apartment building. Let's take a look. <laughs> Come on, let me in! Oh, God, let me in! I'm sorry! I'm, okay. sorry. I'm sorry! 10 big ones for Stan! All right. Trent, buddy, how you doing? I'm great. In fact, we're closer than ever. I think she's reaching out to me. Yes, yes, she is, Trent, with this restraining order. <laughs> and restraining orders are worth a special 30 bonus points. All right, now listen. All of you are real close to the loser winner's circle, and you can tip the balance with a good answer to this question. Question number three. Who are you going to date next, and what does your future look like? Bob? Oh, I got a couple things lined up already. Uh, Katie, this girl I work with, is totally hot. And there's this babe I met at the Thunderbirds game who really likes me. So, you know, I think I'm in good shape. That's a good one, Bob. That's a good one. Stan, what's next in your future? I'm really not interested in dating right now. I don't want to see myself getting involved with somebody who gets too serious about me. I need to take it slow and easy. Okay, that's great. Uh, Trent, uh, where are you going to be in the future? I'm going to be dating either Heather Locklear or Meg Ryan. All right. Congratulations. <laughs> You guys are all loser winners. Now, right after the show, you're going to receive a, a gift that was specially selected just for you. Now, Bob, 
you're going to get a brown 1982 Camaro Berlinetta with a bumper sticker that says, Divers Do It Deeper. All right. <laughs> Stand. We're going to hook you up to America Online and let you type away all night on the loser bulletin board. <laughs> and Trent, Trent, buddy, you're going to get all the Prozac you can carry and a bail bond, all right? <laughs> Great. Well, that's... That's it for tonight. Join us next week for Super Losers when our guests will be Tom Arnold, Emilio Estevez, and that guy who was married to Drew Barrymore for like a second. <laughs>